I'm Noreen and welcome to my kitchen and today after many requests we're going to show you how to make this one pot mac and cheese that I talked about in our Copper Chef pan review. I had so many people ask will you please show us how you did it and today I'm gonna do that so let's go see what goes into this. we're gonna get started now when we did our review of the copper chef pan I mentioned that we made this recipe out of the cookbook that was included in the package for the macaroni and cheese this is a dump it all in the pan put it on the stove cook it slow stir it occasionally kind of dill now I am impatient and that is just part of who I am and I'm one of those people who, well, low, I don't have time for low, I'm gonna put it on medium. And got a little bit of the brownness on the cheese. Now, the one thing about this recipe is it is very, very basic. I felt like it needed more flavor. So what you see before you is the same concept, but we're gonna flavorize it up a little bit and put my stamp of approval on it because there are some things in here that I think need to be in here that were missing from the original recipe, but we're still gonna cook it the same way. So what I have in my Copper Chef pan, and this video is not sponsored, I had so many requests to share the macaroni and cheese recipe in a video that we just decided to go ahead and do it. I have one pound of elbow macaroni. I have two cups of shredded cheddar or a blend. This is cheddar, American, and Gruyere. This is specifically a blend of macaroni and cheese cheese that I get at a local market that I really really like and it makes the best macaroni and cheese. You can use straight cheddar, you can use a blend of cheddar and American, you can use whatever you like. We're going to use two cups of whole milk and two cups of heavy cream and one cup of water. The original recipe calls for a quart or four cups of heavy cream. That's a little bit too rich for my blood when it comes to macaroni and cheese. So we're going to go with milk. This is 2% milk. You use whatever you like, a cup of water and two cups of heavy cream. We're also going to have a quarter of a cup or four tablespoons of butter. This is for flavor. You can leave it out if you so choose. And now the flavor part. The original recipe does not call for these. I have a teaspoon each of salt and pepper, as well as garlic powder, onion powder, and dry mustard and I have a tablespoon of Worcester sauce and this is a tablespoon of cornstarch. This is called for in the recipe as well. This is going to help it thicken. So we're going to meet you. Oh, what basically you have to do is simple. This defies everything you know everything in the pan about how to make macaroni and cheese okay so just kind of set what you already know aside and put everything in the pan Now we're gonna go put this on the stove, give it a stir, and we're gonna put it over medium low heat, medium low, trust me, because I know from experience that this needs to cook long and slow just until the macaroni is cooked, tender, and this is creamy and saucy and ready to enjoy macaroni and cheese. All right, this has been cooking for about 15 minutes maybe, what do you think? 15 20. 15, 20 minutes. And I've been stirring it every few minutes. And you can see that it is starting to get nice and thick. Mm, that is perfect. It's beautiful. Now, here's the one thing I want to tell you. Because for me, this recipe is still a work in progress. Um, I added an additional cup of water because I want the macaroni to get fully cooked. And the last time I made it, 
it browned too quickly on the bottom. That's my fault, a given. But I still really feel like it didn't have enough liquid in it. So I went ahead and I added an extra cup of water about five minutes ago. And we're almost there. The macaroni still has a few more minutes to cook. It's not completely soft enough for me. You want macaroni and cheese macaroni to be just past al dente. Five more minutes, we'll be back. We'll show you what it looks like. All right, our macaroni and cheese is all done and it is delicious. I will give you an update on things and I will actually write out my recipe because it is a bit different from what's in the Copper Chef cookbook. I used their recipe as a starting point and then I went all in with my own addition. So in the end, this recipe has a total of two cups of milk, two cups of heavy cream and three cups of water. It also has a total of four cups of cheese. Those are my only additions. The extra water and the extra cheese really help this to be super creamy, saucy, and cheesy. Because macaroni and cheese, two cups of cheese to me for an entire pound of dry macaroni, which ends up being two pounds of cooked macaroni, I just don't think that cuts it. This is gonna serve at least eight to 10 people. Mm -hmm. And I mean, this pan is super deep and you can see how nonstick it really is. Nothing burned. And if you tend this properly, you're, you're gonna have macaroni and cheese that is just to die for. And yes, it's very rich, so don't eat the whole pot. It is, you're gonna eat about a half a cup, really. That's what you're gonna eat. And I know Rick wants to taste it. Mm -hmm. You ready? Tell me what you think. Mm. Yes? Mm-hmm. That is mm -hmm. to die for. Mm. 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 Yes. Very good. You're gonna love this. And the macaroni's perfect. And if you don't have this pan, don't worry. If you have a good ceramic nonstick pan, you could easily do that. Mm -hmm. I don't recommend a stainless steel or even a cast iron skillet to make this because it will stick and it will burn and you will be disappointed. So, since so many people ask me, can you show how you made the macaroni and cheese? Here you go. This is how I made it. And I will post my recipe on my website. There will be a link down below. Some days I don't get to post my recipe immediately because family, time, schedule, appointments, what have you. I do my best, but sometimes I just can't get to it. So if I don't get the recipe up until a couple of days later, just know that it's coming and I'm working on it. So I want to thank you for joining me today to see how I made this one pot stovetop mac and cheese. Boy, is it good. <laughs> If you liked what you saw, please consider giving me a thumbs up. And if you're not already, please consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out on all the real food for real people, real easy recipes that we present every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday right here on our YouTube channel and straight from our kitchen. So I hope this uh, clears up some curiosity that people had about how we make this one pot stovetop mac and cheese in the Copper Chef pan. And these are my changes and my own little creation because macaroni and cheese is like holds a coveted spot in our world. Comfort and I, food. I think you're going to love it. This is totally comfort food. The extra additions of the spices and the Worcestershire sauce really take this to the next level. Anybody that digs into this is going to love it. So I hope you give this a try and I hope you do love it. And until next time, I'll see ya. All right, so there we showed you how easy it is to fry an egg with no oil or butter and how easy some burnt on cheese slides right out of this pan. That gives you some indication of how great this pan is as far as the non-stickability of it. Um, I'm really impressed. When I made the uh, macaroni and cheese in it, and also when I fried the, uh, the pork cubes in it for my pork, uh, 